Hi, welcome back to Jesus Calling series with Minister Love and myself, Sandra. We thank you for being with us today. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be doing lesson number 40, which is because I want to seek Jesus face. So that means you want to get a really close, intimate relationship with Jesus. You just want to be have him in your life every day, mm -hmm. every night, all the time, and, and see how your life changes because it mm -hmm. says, Seek my face more and more. You're really just beginning your journey of intimacy with me. It is not an easy road, but it is delightful and a privileged way, a treasure hunt. I am the treasure, <laughs> and the glory of my presence glistens and shimmers along the way. And then it says, Trust me and don't be afraid, for I am your strength and song. So this is like when you have Jesus with you throughout mm -hmm. your life, there's um you have a, a, a intimacy with him you have a close relationship with him he's your treasure he's the ultimate treasure because he knows all and can do all and so all your hardships and different situations in life when you have him he's going to help you get through it and uh, make it uh, easier to take and then also trusting that's the trust him and don't be afraid mm -hmm. so we're going to uh, do some scriptures today to identify these different things and the first one we're going to do today is Psalms, and it's going to be Psalms 27, 8. And instead, it says, When thou say, sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. So in essence, you have your heart and your mind all focused to be seeking Jesus, to be with him, to do um your life with him it's a relationship an intimate relationship yeah, and so god uh, though jesus wants you to be with him and so you do this it takes you know every day to do it just like any relationship right you're with your mate a friend you can't just slough them off and, and call them when you feel like it it's not going to be a strong loving relationship you must do these mm -hmm. things daily every day every day and stay, stay close to your people that you love in this world. And then most of all, with Jesus, read your Bible, study, have your private time with him and talk with him. And he's going to help you to get through this world and these times that we're in right now. And Cindy, he, Cindy, you know what I love, too, about that scripture, in addition to what you just said, too? Notice, and you pointed this out, too. Notice that it said the heart has to seek his face see mm -hmm. anybody can seek anyone but if your heart isn't in it when you do find the person it ain't gonna mean nothing because you didn't put your heart in it when you go after god with your heart i mean you're giving him everything and and it's a heart issue because your heart is the guide of the decisions that we make every day you know, you talk about relationships. If that person don't communicate with you, you know, on a regular basis, what does that tell you? Their heart really isn't in it because if they was really seeking a relationship with you, they would come after you with everything. They're going to stay in constant communication with you because it's their what? Heart that's trying to get to you. Yeah. Right. That's right. Very good. Very good. So, so true. Okay, we're going to um, go to 2 Corinthians 4, verse 7 and 8. Minister Love, would you like to read those? Yes, I will. Okay. 2 Corinthians 4, 7 and 8, and it reads. Let me make sure the audience see me read my Bible. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Mm. Right. I think that's the right one. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it says, you know, God is our treasure, right? Mm -hmm. in, um, in, uh, in on the earth, he is our treasure. It's mm -hmm. a heavenly treasure. Jesus is with us. Mm -hmm. And then it's, I like how it says, um, you, um, you might be distressed, but not proplex. So yeah. it's, it's like a level. You might be on a low level of situation, not to the extreme level. Mm -hmm. the Lord, then it says, and then, um, let's see. 
and then it says in, in despair. It says perplexed, but not in despair. So you'd be troubled, but maybe uh, it's not going to be that hard difficult for you because when you're with the with lord he just keeps you sustaining in your peace and your love and so it, it doesn't affect you to the point that it would if you don't have him if you don't have him then uh it could be real critical it could be really devastating but you know the lord is going to get you and carry you through because when you trust him and you study and as your life progresses you're going to go through situations right you're going to have problem with the relationship, a problem with uh, maybe your children, problem with finances. And a lot of times we do things hastily and we don't, we do impulsively. But when you're with the Lord, you're more, how do you say, calm. And God says, no, don't do that. Like I was thinking to refinance my car. And God said, no, why are you doing that? Because mm -hmm. you're going to pay more money. So, but if I had been impulsively said, you know, I could lower my payment, but I didn't look at the difference of the cost that I already paid for interest. And now we're going to add more. So mm -hmm. I really, that was a good lesson for me today because I was trying to do that. And I said, oh, okay, I'm just going to let that go. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Just take right. my time. But when you hastily do things and you think you're getting a better deal and you do it fast, mm -hmm. a lot of times you're not getting a good deal. So that's what we're talking about here. That, um, yes, the, the levels of things, doing things. Sometimes you just need to be patient and sit still mm -hmm. and everything transpire. So, and then we'll do our last scripture today. Okay. And that one is going to be Isaiah 12, 2. And we'll let Minister close that one out for us. And this All one. right. Okay. Because we're talking about because I am seeking his face. Let's see what Isaiah has to say. Behold, God is my salvation. That's the right one, right? 12 to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Wow, now this is a good reason to want to seek God's face. Why is that? Because if you're seeking God's face, that's a level of trust. So I'm trusting. And what am I going to get out of me seeking his face and trusting him? Salvation. Mm -hmm. I won't be afraid. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get strength. And he's going to put some music in my spirit. I'm going to be mm -hmm. dancing and singing. And again, he has become my what? Salvation. What does salvation mean? Deliverance. Deliver, mm -hmm. deliver from anything that you're going through. We won't list anything because the time won't prevail. But just to know that God is your salvation, whatever you're going through, finances, emotional, spiritual, whatever the reason is, he can deliver you out of it. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That was great, Minister yes. Love. Thank you so much, everyone, for being with us today in our lesson, why we should seek Jesus' face. And we welcome you to come back next week on number lesson 41. Have a great day. God bless. God bless.